What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Thunderbite29 here, and yep, I am back today with another video. But this video might be unrelated, but I feel like it's necessary to make. Especially to some of the people who have saw in my community page, you would definitely understand why I'm pretty angry right now and why I'm filming this video. So, let's begin, shall we? So, as some of you know, YouTube CEO was given a free expression award. And the quote that she said during that video was, I've just seen the real benefits that freedom of speech has, as well as representing people from all different backgrounds and all different perspectives and the freedoms that we all have. We really can't take for granted. She also added, We really have to make sure that we're protecting them in every way possible. I feel because of my family history, a deep connection to those freedoms, and I'm very thankful for the freedoms that I have. And the tech CEO also discussed the platform's balancing people's right to free speech with protecting the community from harmful content. Well, I really strongly disagree with everything the CEO has said. If you're really trying to protect the YouTube community from harmful content, then why was this video demonetized? Alright, I just want to show you a quick example here. So as I showed you, the video got demonetized. They say, The video is running limited to no ads due to identified as not suitable for most advertisers. And not suitable for most viewers. But somehow, this video is suitable for most advertisers and viewers. And somehow, this is monetized. But my video just speaking of my opinion on one of YouTube's dumb policies is demonetized. This doesn't even make sense. When I'm literally just saying, please don't remove the dislike button. Because actions have consequences. Because a lot of you probably don't even realize that removing the dislike button is not going to stop bad content. It's going to promote it. It's like trying to stop somebody from taking drugs by giving them more drugs. Oh, and if you really care about freedom of speech, then why was my video demonetized? But this is not the first time that this incident has happened. Long histories of incidents have happened like this before. Especially during the chaotic year of 2020, when you had the, uh, you know, the thing... I can't say the word because I'll get demonetized, but I think that's going to be ineditable either way. But I'm going to read a couple of big notable examples from 2019 and 2020. In 2019, she admitted that YouTube took down hundreds of ads from former President Donald Trump, yet claimed the purge was done without political bias. Obviously bullcrap. Let's read number two. Last year, YouTube removed a viral video featuring frontline doctors calling for an end to the quarantine and comparing the thing to the flu. And earlier this month, YouTube removed a video of a public health roundtable hosted by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, featuring a panel of scientists and researchers who challenged the effectiveness of the thing, lockdowns, and masks. But at the same time, she tries to claim that she's all in for freedom of speech and for protecting it. But all those examples that you just heard right there, that's not protecting freedom of speech. That is called censorship. Let me ask you something. Is this what you call protecting freedom of speech? Or this protecting freedom of speech? Or this? Or this? No wonder why the video of her speaking during it had got over 30,000 dislikes. And I hope she doesn't just blame Republicans for that because this whole thing has been completely bipartisan. I mean, there are people from all political sides who disagree with her policies and plans. I have really close friends who have different political views than me, even some who are like way completely different. But we don't hate each other. We look for common ground. We look for certain things that we can both agree on. That is what makes us Americans. And YouTube's bullcrap policies is just the start because 
people on all political sides can actually agree that YouTube can make some bullcrap policies from time to time. And it has been like that for years. Before I close out this video, I just want to read a quote real quick that was said by former President Donald Trump. In reality, they're not after me. They're after you. I'm just in the way. I mean, rather you like him or don't like him. This is a quote that some people can actually agree on. This quote can be really reliable in some kind of way. Whether you like him or don't like him, he was not wrong. He was right when he said this. Because this is just the beginning. But what are your guys' thoughts on the matter? Do you think the CEO deserved this award? Do you think she's really fighting for freedom of speech? Tell me in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you really strongly agree with me, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for the overwhelming amount of love and support. Thank you for everyone who supported me during this hard time. As now I begin to close in on 1,980 subscribers. You all are the best. I can never ever be thankful enough. Thank you all so much. And I will see you all in the next video. And this is ThunderBuddy29. Sign off. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America.